Hello everyone, Bandicoot Commando 95 here, and welcome to my brand new Let's Play of Ratchet and Clank. Ratchet and Clank was Insomniac's next major game series after departing from Spyro, first released on the PS2 way back in 2001, or I mean 2002, my mistake. So, Ratchet and Clank, it's a great series, it's an awesome series, and I'm just fiddling with things to see. Uh, pretty, I think there's subtitles. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna do Ratchet and Clank. So, much like with Jack, yeah, with Jack and Daxter, the original game here, since there's actually two versions of this game, uh, this can either be on your PS2 or you could get it for your PS3 or your PS Vita. Or if you want, you can get the remake slash reboot based on the movie. For your PS4. And I'm not really going to explain too much with the PS4 one. Because I'll admit I plan on doing that in the far future. But for now let's just focus what we have now. So uh, before we start let me. Let me just. There we go. I think that'll help. Okay let's start. So yeah, I am doing the original game on my PS2. Three, four, okay, so it gives you five slots, alright. Kazu Kazi Plateau, Planet Velden. And there he is. Final step, attach robotic ignition system. Thank you for using help desk technology. Meanwhile, in a factory on a nearby planet. Approaching Planet Velden, 11.47 a.m. local time. Okay, now we can get going. Yeah, no dialogue, but that's a good way to start. Welcome to the Gadgetron Help Desk. We are here to offer you advice during your interplanetary travels. The Help Desk is a free service provided by Gadgetron Corporation. Okay, so here I am, moving things around. Let's go into the little garage here and get some bolts. Bolts are your currency. You will need them. Wow. Everything feels a lot slippery. Everything feels slippery. It's either because I haven't played this game in a long time, or it's because I the last Ratchet and Clank game I played was the movie one, or it was the fact that I played Jack and Daxter. Whatever the case, uh, let's go. These things are these things will hurt you. So uh, use square to use Ratchet's army wrench. If you tap it three times, yeah, he'll do a little swing combo. Jump in square will make him do the hyper strike, as it's called. So, uh, yeah, let's get around. We're gonna need some bolts. 
Okay, so I think that's what we can get. So let's get going. The game will teach us about jumps and double jumps later and other little things. Okay. You can interrupt help desk messages by pressing the triangle button to disable. Yeah. So, but I'll keep the help desk things on because, you know, just because I'll only disable it if I'm like, yeah, I don't need help at this point. I don't know. But for all I know, I probably won't disable it because I always need help. I'll just say that. Okay. So, so let's get going. So like I said, this is the original Ratchet and Clank game, not the movie video game one, which again, I won't, whoops, again, I won't really go over too many differences because, you know, the Ratchet and Clank movie thing is its own thing. Includes a new Comet Strike feature. To activate it, use the R1 button to crouch, and then press the square button. Yeah, everything is so slippery. I don't remember the game being this slippery with Ratchet's movements. And at the same time... Yeah, like so. I think if you hold L2, yeah, hold L2 will make you look and you could still use the Comet Strike. Okay, hold on. I need to see something. Camera. Oh, that's why. Yeah, put it on fast. What, reverse? No, just keep them on normal. Subtitles. Yes, we will need subtitles. And that goes back to the menu. I like his face. Uh... I, again, I'm just looking in. That's if you want to turn on the help desk voice and the text, but I'll keep everything on. Help, uh, the help log. This will help you look back at all the, uh, ga the Gadgetron help desk. Controls. Is there a way to... Okay, no, there isn't. Moves, that explains all of the moves you could do. Weapons, that's any weapons you have and any gadgets, but we won't get any for a while. Items are important things, and of course your weapons. Quick select it. Yeah, okay. Waste of time. Let's get going. Yes. Actually, no. Okay, see, here's one thing I don't like with the camera already, and I don't remember the camera being like this, but going this way is fine, but going back is slow. Like, I don't understand. Like, I, I can probably give them credit that, you know, this was their first PS2 game, so of course there's going to be things. This. That's nanotech. Whenever you sustain injury, let Gadgetron's patented nanotech system rebuild your body from the inside out. So nanotech is your health. So anytime Ratchet takes damage, find a nanotech crate and bust it open, and the nanotech will come to you, and it'll heal your bit of health you lost. Right, man. Look at our bolts. You're gonna need bolts for a lot of things, really. Weapons, ammo, and so on and so forth. So, oh. And some enemies are tough. Oh yes, ammo for the bomb glove. Uh, we do have a weapon, we just can't exactly use it yet. Use your bomb glove. Oh. Press the circle button to equip it. And the circle button again to fire it. You can also use it in first person by holding down the L1 button. Okay, so like so. The bomb glove, it is the first weapon you will have on hand when you start. It's... it gets the job done, but there are better weapons, is all I could say. Especially later in the game, the most of the good weapons you'll get, uh, they will turn useless later, as I will put it. Okay, so that was to be expected. Okay, so with the way the aiming works, uh, if I could turn around. So, 
See where the target reticle is over there. If I were to turn, it will stay locked on to an enemy until I attack. So. Oh. Okay, so yeah, that's another thing. Uh, anytime Ratchet takes damage from enemies, most of the time enemies will do like a little taunt victory dance thing, and that's your chance to maybe get in a quick strike, especially if they're the tougher enemies, but later in the game there will be tougher enemies that won't actually react to Ratchet taking damage, so here's our little robot that we saw from the intro. Oh, I like the way he held him. Okay, I'm gonna... Interesting. Yay! You're quite handy with your wrench. You bet. I built that ship with it. Hmm. Currently, I'm in search of someone who could be of assistance in saving the solar system. Do you know where I might find that fellow? Well, he's on the radio every week. Other than that, no. Hey, what's with all this save the solar system stuff anyway? Hello, citizens of... My Wiz the Blog have a small problem. Our planet has become so polluted, overpopulated, and poisonous that we are no longer able to dwell here. But I, Chairman Drek, have a solution. We are constructing a pristine new world using the choicest planetary components available. So, what does this mean to you, you might ask? Using highly sophisticated technology, which you couldn't possibly understand, we will be extracting a large portion of your planet and adding it to our new one. Unfortunately, this change in mass will cause your planet to spin out of control and drift into the sun where it will explode into a flaming ball of gas. But, of course, sacrifices must be made. <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. Cut! And if you don't like it, you can take your whiny, sniveling, snot-nosed populations, form a line behind me, and kiss my... We're still on? Well, take <laughs> it off, you idiot! <laughs> The people on those planets are hosed. Well, good luck getting Captain Quark to help you. Actually, you could help me. If you could use your ship to take me to the coordinates contained in this infobot, I might be able to gather further information there. Even if I wanted to, I can't. I'm missing a crucial component of the ship. The robotic ignition system. How did you know that? I, sir, happen to be equipped with the latest in robotic ignition systems. My programming allows me to start any ship I choose. So, I agree to take you to this wherever it is, and you get my ship started for me? That is what I'm proposing. Deal. All right. Chairman Drax flagship in Velden orbit. This could be a problem. Take care of it. Whoa, this is great! So that's where I've been stuck this whole time. Please return your appendages to the steering mechanism, sir. Huh? Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and by the way, you could stop calling me sir. The name's Ratchet. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. You got a name? My serial number is V54296. Oops. I'll just call you Clank for short. Hang on. Back on Chairman Drax's flagship. So you see, it would be most beneficial if your citizens were not in the city when my workers begin removing it. Preposterous! I will not stand for this. Unfortunately, you have no choice in the matter. Let's just see what Captain Quark has to say about that, my good man. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny. Captain Quark could dispatch you without even breaking a sweat, you, you puny. You have now officially worn out your welcome and my patience. This is your last chance. Stop this madness now! Okay, wait. You're right. I will withdraw my troops. Really? No! He's all yours, gentlemen. Try not to leave any marks. 
entering atmosphere of planet Novalis. Ugh. My root beer is starting to taste a little bad. Okay. Oh. Oh. Clank? Where are you? Oh, sorry about that. Well, we're not leaving the way we came in. Perhaps we could procure a ship from one of the inhabitants. If there are any left. There we go. Yes, I know how an autosave icon is. Alright, I'm going to keep going though. So, a few things I want to point out actually. So, uh, one, whoa. Uh, if there's any wreckage of the ship left, which I doubt. Um, but one is uh, Clank's name, like his serial number name. When he was saying it, uh, I just want to say, he would, his serial number would be different in the the future trilogy series, so it kind of contradicts itself in a way. And second is the fact that um, Ratchet just crashed, and that's the thing that makes no sense, because in the later games, he becomes a better pilot, really, so it makes no sense why he just randomly crashes like that, so this is a Gadgetron vendor. I got some great bargains for you today. Yeah, so uh, anytime you need ammo or new weapons, you can always find these and um, just buy what you need. So yeah, you know what? I'm going to top off on the ammo. So oh, that's a nice one. Yeah, the pyro, the pyro sitter, the pyro sitter. Eh, too bad we don't have enough. So uh, also these Gatron vendors act as your checkpoints. So... Sometimes you'll always have one where you start and you'll always find another one somewhere in the halfway point of the world and so on and so forth. Now this is where we're going to have to use our weapon more. Uh, I hate to try because I don't know if it's safe or not, but... Okay, it's safe to... Okay, sometimes Ratchet can't swim in all waters, just saying, so we got some enemies to deal with, so... I'm going to get my bomb glo- Oh, that's right. This is not going commando and up and Okay. Because, see, an issue I have with the- Oh, whoa. Okay, at least they're weak. Blech. Make some weird black noise. This game's good, but there's only one- There's only, like, not just one. Just a few issues, really, but- the lack of strafing. The later games would have strafing, and I, oh, I just know I'm gonna struggle because there's no strafing in this game. A good thing with enemies is. At least for some of these enemies, they will attack slow, so... Ow. So, enemies that attack slow are good, because it gives you a chance to react in enough time. Okay, so... Smashy, smashy. We're gonna need enough bolts to get the pyro sitter. Because we will kinda need it for the next area we go to. We don't need it necessarily, but it's good to have, so... Yeah, I'm gonna try and find as many bolts as I can. Okay, so... Let's see. Ow. Okay. Oh, uh... If you press select, it will pull up a map. I think the Gadgetron help desk tells you this later, but... Okay, yeah, I could zoom in, so... That's where we started, pretty much, and... That arrow... With the green dot is you. Anything with a question mark is an objective. And so you could see we got more of this planet we can uh, explore around, so. Okay. Forgot. Sometimes enemies might accidentally attack one another. Well, either accidentally or purposely, depending on the. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. I'm sorry, people, but. I have to, I have to go to a toilet, so I'll be right back. All right, everyone, I'm back. I feel better, so uh, let's continue. Okay, so is there anything in this water? 
Okay, we can't go that. Hey, what is that? Oh, I know what that is. That's uh, for something much later. So, something we can't mess with at the moment. All right, let's get moving. Pearl, Pearl, I, I know you're here, Pearl, but not now. I'm trying to record. Okay, so. Okay, at least these enemies are simple to deal with. Right? And then we go up here. Ah, not to worry. Just go around them. Really, you shouldn't have too much trouble with this world because it's simple, the enemies are slow. And as in the case for these guys, they only try to run away if you get too close to them. But even then, they're not very fast about that either. Whoa. Okay, there's those flying bee things. Uh, using Ratchet's Omni Wrench against most enemies, unless they're small and weak, then yeah. Otherwise, if they're big enemies, then there's no reason to actually try and fight with the wrench, because that's not a smart idea. So, I noticed these. Let's get these. I might actually find a little something special while I'm at it. No? Okay. Well, we got enough for the pyro, pyro sitter, so that's good. Get these. All right. Uh, is there a way to? Oh, okay. Uh, I pressed triangle briefly, but uh, if you hold it, you can select any later weapons you get. It also, since I tapped it, I wanted to see where my health was, so. Okay, here we go. This is where we're going to have to fight off some enemies. Not too hard, though. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Oh, what are you? Mercenaries? Torturers? Assassins? I I'll tell you anything. Here. Take my infobot. It's all I've got left. Sir, we're not assassins. Hold on. Let's see what he's got. Has this ever happened to you? Hi, I'm Captain Quark. And believe me, there's nothing worse than staring down a Blargian snaggle beast from the inside and knowing your equipment isn't functioning properly. That's why I come to Al's Robo Shack for all my electronic needs. Al has been the exclusive repair shop for my super electro gadgets since I was knee-high to a sand mouse. If Al can't fix it, it's not broke. Right, Al? <laughs> you said it, pal. So if you're fighting crime, or just fighting grime, <laughs> come to Al's Robo Shack in Metropolis for all your robotic repairs. Al's Robo Shack, it's quarktastic. Quarktastic. Do you know what this means? Yeah, Captain Quark is really sold out. No, it means Captain Quark is on Metropolis. We could tell him about this invasion. If we had a ship. Uh, what? Uh, a ship? What? You're not going to torture me? Well, this planetary chairman and I could arrange for you to borrow our courier ship. Cool. You can count on us, sir. Right. Thank you, your chairman shipliness. <laughs> Gadgetron infobots give you coordinates for new planets. You should press the select button to bring up the map and go to your ship. It's marked with a star. Uh, yeah, our ship has a star. That lets us know that's where we started. So, um, let's see. With what the time is now, I think I'll just go back to the ship. But I won't go in it or anything. I'll just stop there. Because we got more to do in a bit. So first, gotta break open some more crates and everything and... Because we're not done with this world. There's more we can do. Because you're going to have to go to almost every planet eventually to either get information and or weapon. Well, not weapons, but 
gadgets and other little things of the like, so that should take us back up. Okay, very good. And every time you get near your ship... Oh no, it doesn't? It's probably the later games. Okay. That'll do for this episode of Ratchet and Clank. So join me next time as we... Oh wait, let me pull up the map. As we explore the rest of this area of Planet Novalis. Specifically so we can get to there and see what that's about. And then... And, wow, I'm just spoiling Metropolis's map, so... Yeah, and then I'll go to Planet Metropolis. So... Ah, hope you guys will enjoy my new Let's Play of Ratchet and Clank. Much like Jack and Daxter, I've been wanting to do Ratchet and Clank for quite a long while, and it's now time has come, so... That is it, and I will see you guys next time.